So the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. The fact that you take the decision to be quiet is a way to acknowledge the presence of God. It's a way to acknowledge that your situation got to be still before God. Your problem got to be still before God. That mountain got to be still before God. And no matter the mountain, no matter the situation, no matter the wind that is blowing on you, that wind will be still. That mountain will disappear. That problem will vanish because in front of God, before God's presence, presence, everything got to be still. And I want to encourage you to take that attitude, to be still, to be quiet, and to acknowledge that no matter what is going on around you, no matter what is shaking around you, no matter what you see with your physical eyes, no matter what you feel in your body, no matter the report of the doctor you're receiving, no matter the feedback, the negative feedback you're receiving from the society or from the people, no matter what you're going on in your, in your home, you have to acknowledge the presence of God. And when you acknowledge your presence, His presence, everything within you, everything around you will be quiet. And God want to reveal, will, God want to, God want to, to, to show His power in the midst of your situation. But you have to do something. You have to stop and to say, God, I am still. I am quiet. Now I want to just be silent. And I want to hear from you. Sometimes we have to stop talking and we have to listen from him. We have to stop arguing and we have to receive from him. We have to stop thinking and we have to receive from him. Maybe your problem might be so big. Maybe your situation might be so troubled. Maybe the shaking around you might be so, 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 so strong. But God is stronger than anything. It might be in your life, in the, 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 the life of your children. It might be maybe in someone's life, somebody that you know. I want you to, to take this message and to tell somebody, be still and know that God is God. God is God. God is powerful. And He wants to manifest His power in the midst of your problem. He wants to manifest his power in the midst of the, the, the misunderstanding you have about life. He wants to manifest his power in the midst of your, your relationships that are already broken. He wants to manifest his power in the midst in your home. He wants to manifest his power wherever you are finding yourself being challenged. One word of encouragement, be still. Just be still. And in the book of Psalm, the chapter 55, verse 22, the Bible says, Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. As long as you are a righteous in front of God, as long as you have the status of righteous before God, He will never allow you to be shaken. Nothing will shake you. Even if you feel, you feel like it's shaking around you, you will not fall. You cannot be destroyed. You cannot lose your focus because God is the one watching over, over you. He's just asking you to cast your burden upon Him. Don't carry your burden. It might be something, a, a sad situation that you're going through. I don't know what you lost. I don't know what is the reason why you've been crying the whole time. I don't know the report the doctor gave you. I don't know what situation you're going through. Don't carry it on your shoulder. It's going to be so heavy for you. It's going to kill you day after day. Come to Jesus and cast your burden upon him. 
just throw everything at his feet just acknowledge that he is stronger it's an act of worship it's an act that 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 says that you belong to him you depend on him it's a way to tell him i cannot make without you i can't succeed without you if you don't intervene in this situation my life will be over so god i cannot carry that burden i cannot keep crying the whole day and the whole night i cannot keep arguing with you i cannot keep you know just being the way i am i want to come and i want to cast my burden upon you i want to come and i want to cast my my, my cheers upon you i want to come and i want to cast that situation upon you because i know that i need some quiet time i need some rest and you can only have rest in the presence of god you can only have rest when you be when you you decide to be still and to acknowledge that god is there god is greater than any situation god is bigger than any type of mountain god is stronger he's bigger he is awesome there is nothing that can be stronger than him so no matter i don't i'm not looking down on your situation but i'm just saying that god is bigger than that situation and decide to stop arguing decide to stop thinking decide to stop struggling decide to stop you know overwhelming yourself and just say lord i cannot carry this one it's too heavy for me the bible says that his yoke is light lord I want you to take my burden. I want you to take that thing that is about to kill me. I want you to take that medical report that I've been that I received. I don't want to believe on that re to that report. I'm believing to what God says about me, and I know that what you say about me, you say healing about me. You say success success about me. You say that I'm going to move forward. You say that I'm going to live and I'm, on, I'm not going to die, but I will declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. God, you say that everything I'm going to do will prosper. You say that I'm the, 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 the head and never the tail. God, I know what you say about me, and I also know that you say that you can carry my, my burden. You can take over. You can take control of my situation. I want you to start this week with a positive attitude. I don't know the challenge. It might be emotional, it might be spiritual, it might be in your daily life, it might be at work, it might be with your in your relationship, it might be in your marriage, it might be anywhere, even in your ministry, in your church, it might be in this community, wherever you can have a challenge. I want you to start this week with a positive attitude. I want you to start this week with the mind of a winner. I want you to start this week with the mind of somebody who says, Lord, I surrender all to you. I cannot do nothing without you. In fact, I refuse to start this week without you. I refuse to start this week being overwhelmed. I refuse to start this week thinking and thinking about my situation. It's all about you and I want to commit. I want to surrender my case into your hands. I want to surrender my heart, my situation into your hands. You take over and you will feel as if you are you are you, you will feel relieved you will feel light you will feel happy you will feel you will feel you will feel better you will feel good don't start the week being being sad maybe the situation is enough for you to be sad when they will ask you how are you smile and say i am good everything is good even people who know that you are you don't have any reason to smile this week when you're going to start the week start your week with a positive attitude start your week talking to you saying i am blessed start your week saying lord i want to be quiet i want to be quiet you can have rest in the presence of god you cannot find rest in the midst of your thought you cannot you cannot find rest when you argue with yourself and you argue with God you cannot find rest when you respond to 
to every situation along the way. You cannot find rest when you are distracted. You can find rest when you decide to make peace with your, with your mind. When you decide to make peace with your heart. When you decide to gather yourself and to say, I'm going to be in peace with myself. Within me, I'm going to be in peace. And because within me, I'm going to be in peace, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be still still in the presence of God and I will allow God to minister to me. I will allow God to speak to me. I will allow God to, 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 to speak to my heart. I know that God wants to speak to you about what you're going through. Maybe he wants to use what you're going through to bring you closer to him. It's not because you have sinned. It's not because you are too bad. It's not because the heavens are angry against you or God is angry against you. Maybe it's because God, want, God just wants to draw your attention, you know, to him and God wants to talk to you about a specific uh, the direction. So stop complaining, but have an attitude of thanksgiving, have an attitude of praise, have an attitude of champion, have an attitude of somebody who can see white in the midst of the dark, have an attitude of somebody who can speak good in the midst of bad report. So be still and know that he is God. Cool down, stop crying, stop arguing. Stop responding to people and to situation and to life. For a while, a little while, just keep quiet and say, God, have your way. And you will be surprised the way God will talk to you. You will be surprised the way he will give you the orientation you need to take for this specific season in your life. You will be surprised how you will feel relieved. You will be surprised when you will say, God, this burden... I'm going to come in your presence. In fact, I am before you and I decide to cast all my burden upon you. I'm not going to carry nothing anymore. I will give it to you. Everything that is heavy on me, every heaviness in my mind, in my in my thought, in my spirit, in my body, in my soul, I will just put it right there before your feet and I will say, I want to leave this place being relieved. I want to leave this place with my joy. In the presence of God, you can find your rest. And the rest, what I'm talking about, is your joy, is your peace, is your restoration, is your deliverance, is everything you think that you have lost. So no matter what you have lost, God is so good to give it back to you. But God cannot give it to you if you're going left and right, if you're going up and down, if you keep running, if you keep being busy to, 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 to if you can be, can keep being busy every day. God cannot give it to you if you're not close to him, if you don't pay attention uh, uh, to him. So just tell him, I want to make a stop, Papa God. I want to make a stop, Daddy. I want to make a stop, Lord. Please speak to me please remove everything that you want to remove in me please give me the color you want to give me for this season please i want to be that tree planted beside the the, the, the the river i want to bear my fruit in my season i don't want to bear fruit of heaviness i want i don't want to bear fruit of frustration i don't want to bear fruit of of hatred i don't want to bear fruit of you know uh, 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 everything of stress i want to bear joy i want to bear peace i want to bear happiness i want to bear you know salvation i want to bear the fruit that come, that is coming from you and if you want to bear this type of fruit you cannot bear this type of fruit if you're going up and down left and right round and round you can just bear that type of fruit in the presence of god if you decide to remove something then you will get something so remove bit the bit get, remove bitterness get rid of bitterness get rid of the frustration get rid of everything that is preventing you from 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 you know from enjoying the presence of God get rid of all those things it is just when you're gonna get rid of the thing that is that is full in your life 
those things that are not pleasing God. It's at that time that God can come and God can put his own color in you. God can come and God can meet you at the point of your need. You know, we are frustrated most of the time because we pursuing stuff that we don't even need. Every time you will do what God what God is not telling you to do for the time, for the season, you'll be frustrated and you'll feel like you are heavy. You will feel like you are going through a lot of tough situation, a lot of, you know, you feel like it's, it's just hard around you because you, gonna, you, you are taking the direction you're not supposed to take for that very time, for that very season. I want you to stop and to ask God, give me the direction of my life. Tell me the step I need to take. Tell me where I need to go. Tell me how I need to move. Tell me who I need to associate myself with. I don't want to. The burden I'm talking about can be your relationship, can be people around you, can be not only the, the, the don't, not only trouble and, and situations. It can also be the people you, you 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 gathered with, the people you put around you. They can become a burden for you if you surround yourself with, with, with people who, who, who don't have no fear of God. They will be a burden for you because you cannot manifest the light you have in you. You cannot manifest the fruit you have to manifest. You cannot impact your generation, your family, your community. You will be carrying so many burdens. So you need to get rid of, of all those things. People, get rid of them. Wrong relationship, cut them off. Don't be afraid. Cast everything onto the Lord. Cast everything onto the Lord. Cast everything onto the Lord. I would like you to start the week with a positive mind. I would like you to start the week knowing that everything is well. For everything to remain well, you got to be still. You got to be quiet. You got to be quiet. Allow God to talk. It's about communicating. You cannot communicate with somebody when you keep arguing, when you keep complaining, when you keep crying, when you keep talking, just you talk, you talk, you talk, you talk, you talk. Sometimes you need to stop and listen. You need to stop and learn from the person. And I feel like that's what God wants to do in somebody's life this week so take some time and listen from him receive from him go into his presence and give him everything tell him I surrender everything to you I refuse to do it by my own strength in fact I don't even have the strength to do it so you take over you take control and I know that because I'm righteous before your, your eyes, I cannot be shaken. Nothing will shake you this week. Nothing will shake you. Even when you will receive a news that could have come to shake you, to break you, you will be stronger because you are God's righteous one and you will not be shaken. No sickness will shake you. No situation will shake you. No wrong and bad relationship will shake you. Nothing you feel difficult to get rid of will shake you this week. You are going into a week of restoration, into a week of victory, into a week where you will say, Lord, I am still and I, I, can, I can feel like I am resting in your presence and God will give you joy. He will give you peace. He will give you happiness. He will restore everything you have lost. He will give you the desire of your heart. He will make sure that whatever you want, he will give it to you. In the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18, the Bible says, For without doubt, there is a future and your hope with with." With, uh, will not be cut off for without doubt there is a future and your hope will not be cut off you have a future in God you have a future in God it's an assurance so don't be don't be discouraged don't be confused confusion is not from God don't be frustrated 
Frustration is not from God. Every time you are frustrated, every time I am frustrated, is because I'm trying to do things by my own strength. It's because you want to do things by your own strength. Every time you are frustrated is when you have not consulted God. Every time you are frustrated is when you decide to carry your own burden, your own your 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 your, your own your own problems. You decide to to solve the situation by your own understanding. You decide to solve the situation by your own means with your own your own tools. That's when you are frustrated. And every time you do what you are not required to do, you'll be frustrated. But if you, you come in his presence, and if you stay and dwell in his presence, and you say, Lord, enough is enough. I don't want to carry any burden anymore. I don't want to carry any heaviness anymore. I'm, I don't want to solve this situation with my own understanding. I don't want to solve this situation with my own, you know, ideas, my own tools. I want you to step in the situation. In fact, I'm, 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 I'm committing the situation into your hands and I'm casting all those burdens onto you, all those burdens onto you. And I decide to be still in your presence. Lord, speak to me i want to listen to you give me the direction give me the next step to take give me the uh, uh, define the, the season of my life give me the fruit i need to bear for this season when you're gonna do that at that time god will step in the situation and the bible says that without any doubt there is future your future is is an assurance your future is in god's hands so the situation you think today can swallow you, the situation you think today can kill you, the situation you think today can can just you know make me sad, make you sad and sad and sad. That situation God can turn it around for your good. The Bible says that your hope will not be cut off. Keep hoping, keep hoping, keep hoping. Christ in you and I, the hope of glory. Keep hoping. It's a good thing to hope. 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 And don't only hope. Confess what you hope. Act according to what you hope. Live according to what you dream. Everything will work together for your good. Everything, meaning the situation you're going through today. If you think that that situation is bad, if you feel that that situation is bad, it is bad. If you see that that situation is bad, the Bible says that that situation will work for your good because it's not only that situation, it's that situation with some other situation. That's why, that's why the Bible says everything. When you mix up everything, good and bad, what you think, good or what 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 you think it is bad when you mix it together what comes out of that is good is something good for you so no shaking no shaking no shaking it is well with my soul it is well with your soul it is well with your family it is well with your marriage it is well with your education it is well with your ministry it is well with your business it is well with your kids children it is well with everything you put your hands in it is well with your project it is well with your present it has been well with your past it's gonna be well with your future stay in God's presence and learn how to be quiet. Learn how to be still and acknowledge that He is God. And when you say He is God, just think about God in all dimensions. I don't know who, I don't know the understanding you have uh, 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 about God, but me, God, if I start describing him right now, I will not, you know, I can't stop. So, depending on how you can perceive your God, depending on how you can define your God, depending on how you can call your God, depending on the, 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 the revelation you have about your God, be still and acknowledge all that. 
if for you he is the deliverer, be still and acknowledge that he is the deliverer of your life. If for you he is the one who rescues, you, who rescues you, just be still and acknowledge that he will rescue you. If you think that he is the joy giver, be still and know that he's going to give you joy. If for you you think that he's the way maker, be still and know you that he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. If for you, he can, he's the one who can remove all the mountains in your life, just be still and acknowledge that every mountain in your life will be removed. Be still. Know that he is God. Cast your burdens upon him. Cast all your burdens upon him. He will not allow you, the righteous, to be shaken. And you have a hope in Christ. You have a hope in God. And your expectation will never be cut off. Your future, your hope will never be cut off. May God bless you. May the, the, the face of God shine upon you. May God visit you. May God speak to your heart this week. May God minister to you. May God give you everything you think you have lost. May everything you're going through turn around for your good. Have a blessed week. Start the week knowing that God is there in the midst of that trouble. And everything that is shaking around you will be stable in Jesus' name. I love you and I love you and I love you. But God, he loves you more. Have a blessed week. That was Marie-France and that was a torrent of word. Be blessed. Bye-bye.